Fiesta Week is here. Santa Barbara's Old Spanish Days is back for yet another exciting year. It officially starts on Wednesday with Fiesta Pequeña at Old Mission Santa Barbara and continues throughout the week and into the weekend. And in the Fiesta spirit, please welcome to our show the man who lives and breathes Fiesta, Old Spanish Days Division Chief Eric Davis. Good morning, Eric. Thanks Good for being morning, here. Good morning, of course, and Viva La Fiesta. Thank you. Viva La Fiesta to you, too. Yes. Now, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my first year. So as a newbie, what would you yes. say, and I have a small child, so okay. what would you say is the biggest attraction for? Well, we have a full week of attractions. Okay. Starting tomorrow at 11 a.m. when the ribbon cutting happens and the Mercado's open. Yes. And then tomorrow night is Fiesta Pequeña, which is a can't miss event for all of Santa Barbara. Let's we light up the mission and we dance. Okay, you dance. Let me just ask you really mm -hmm. quickly about the Mercados though. Is sure. that just, uh, what, what's in a Mercado? Yeah, so there's two Mercados. There's Mercado, Mercado de la Guerra and Mercado uh, del Norte. There's food and vendors and music and dancing and live entertainment on both sides of the city. Um, and those rib that opens yeah. tomorrow at 11 a.m. Okay, and now let's go to what Kelsey was saying earlier is her favorite event, and that's Fiesta Pequeña. That is right. Uh, Wednesday at 11, I believe it's going to be broadcast live on KYT. It's a, just a spectacular event where they light up the mission and we have a full lineup of dance and music and entertainment. It's spectacular. Where do all these performers come from? They come from all over Santa Barbara and the region. Each uh -huh. the event is, is picked um, and it's a lot of work that goes into preparing a, a really beautiful show. So it, it's a collaboration. It's not different dances throughout the evening or it is just uh, yeah, no, it's a of variety of dance troops, wow. music, entertainment. Um, we have the Spirit will make her debut in her white. The Junior Spirit will dance. It's it is a, a can't miss event. Wow. Okay, let's move on now. Yep. Las Noches de Ronda. Ronda. Yes. Ronda. So, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Thursday even, you go down to the courthouse for some beautiful dancing, and here you see oh. some footage. It is a spectacular evening, right about seven o'clock, you pull up a blanket, about 8,000 people will turn out to watch some of the dancing at the courthouse each night. That's another beautiful part of Fiesta that's free and open to the public, and, um, one of my favorites for sure. That is just, it's so breathtaking because of the costumes and I think that people are so, uh, they seem so inspired to be there. It's well the spirit of Fiesta just, it, it, it overtakes it, it, it overtakes this entire town and, and it's wonderful and you see the color and the dance and the history of uh, the California dance and yeah, it's it's, All right. it's a well, magical time of year. For you know, sure. I'm going to take you to Friday now because okay. it is the largest equine parade. I was a huge horseback rider, so I'm very mm -hmm. excited about this event. It's one of the largest equine parades in the country. Yeah, it, it may be the largest equestrian parade in the country. We have uh, 80 entries, 31 wagons, 10 floats. We're going to have a person riding a bull this year. I think there are 600 horses scheduled to be in the parade, which starts at noon on Friday. It goes along the uh, the beachfront and then heads. Uh, heads up State Street, an estimated 100,000 people will be in attendance and um, that will be broadcast live on KYT too, I believe. That will, absolutely, and I know that Meredith is going to be on the ground this year interviewing people as we go along the parade route, so that's always fun to hear from the different uh, people that are actually part of the parade because everyone brings something to an event like this. It's always interesting to hear what they say or the preparations that take place or you know what they've even brought along. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a spectacular event that um, unites the in, entire region. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and we're all talking about it because some of us are riding in the parade. Oh, how fun. Yeah, so Gr that's always, everyone's waiting for the carriage list, who's on the list to go and who's just going to be there. And you know, of course, John Palminteri loves yes. Santa Barbara just in general, so he's been talking about this and along with a lot of other people at the station. So thank you for being here. You're welcome. And if you want to get more information, we have these guides to Fiesta yes. out and about across town yeah. with uh, all the full lineups of events. Um, we'll have live streaming at sbfiesta.org and you can get more information there. Thanks, Eric. Thank you. All right. Fiesta. Thank you. We'll be right back. Stay with us.